Hi guys and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 Lab instructional video. I am your host Dr. Russell Betts and I'll be guiding you through today's example problem. Today we'll be working on problem 11.1 from your 1032 Lab manual. So let's just dive right in here. What do we got? For the following carbohydrates assign D or L if appropriate. Alright, this is not a really hard question. It's actually a very easy question. There's only a few things you have to know. First thing you have to know is that these things, these drawings, are called Fisher projections. Now a Fisher projection is a very uh, simple, clean way of representing a carbohydrate, especially a monosaccharide. Monosaccharide, remember, is a simple single sugar unit. So now, in the Fisher projection, there are these things called chiral carbons. A chiral carbon is very simply a carbon that has four different things bonded to it. So let's take a look. This that I'm circling is a chiral carbon. This is a chiral carbon. This is a chiral carbon, and so is that. Now, how can I be so confident in knowing where the chiral carbons are? It's very simple. On a Fisher projection, the chiral carbons are never drawn in. All the other carbons can be. The ones that are not chiral can be drawn in, but in a Fisher, they're not. Wherever the vertical and the horizontal lines cut each other or intersect with each other, that's a chiral carbon. Pretty simple, right? So let's look at the second example. There's a chiral carbon, there's a chiral carbon, and there's a chiral carbon. Pretty simple to find because they're not drawn in. It's where the horizontal and the vertical lines intersect. The third example, chiral carbon, chiral carbon, chiral carbon. Now that we've located them, what do we do with them? That's probably the next question, right? So when you're doing a question that asks you to assign D versus L, you don't have to look at all the chiral carbons. You just have to find one of them. And the one you have to find is the chiral carbon that's closest to the bottom of the Fisher projection. Or if you want to say it a different way, the chiral carbon, this one, that's furthest away from the carbonyl. Find the carbonyl, find the chiral carbon that's furthest away from it, and that's the one you want to look at. The other ones are there, they have to be there, but they're not important for assigning D or L. Again, find the carbonyl, and then find the chiral carbon that's furthest away from it. And that's the chiral carbon that you have to examine. All right, once you've found that chiral carbon, once you know the chiral carbon that you need to look at, what do you do? You simply look for the OH. Every time you're assigning D or L, there will be an OH on the chiral carbon that's furthest away from the carbonyl, this one. Look at the OH. What side of the vertical line is it on? Is it on the left side of that line or the right side of that line? It's on the right. If it's on the right side of the molecule, it is considered a D monosaccharide. Okay? Find the carbonyl. Find the chiral carbon that's furthest away from it. Find the OH. Assign D or L. If the OH is on the right, it's D. If the OH is on the left, it's L. Okay, let's do the second one together. So here we're doing this one together. All right. I'm going to ask a question and I'm going to pause for a second. You find it. Find the carbonyl. You may want to pause the video. Okay. Carbonyl is right there. Now, circle the chiral carbon that's furthest from the carbonyl. You may want to pause the video. Right. It's right here. Very good. Find the OH on that chiral carbon. It's right there. Is that OH on the right side of the molecule or the left side of the molecule? It's on the right. So it's... D, very good. I'm sure you got it right. Okay, let's move on to the last example. Let's get rid of this black square. It's getting a little cluttered. There we go. We're looking at this molecule now. So, pause the video. Try to solve it without any help from me. 
Okay, you're back. Go ahead and underline the carbonyl. There's the carbonyl. Find the chiral carbon that's furthest away from it. It's right there. Find the OH. Is it on the left side of the molecule or the right side of the molecule? It's on the left, so it's L. And that's how you assign D versus L using a Fisher projection. I hope you found this video helpful. If not, and you're still having some, some issues, come and see your professor. Uh, don't sit back on this stuff. It's, it's fairly simple, so you want to make sure you get it right on exams. If you're having trouble, come see your professor. Go see one of the tutors at the Academic Success Center. Uh, just make sure you learn it. And with that, I would like to wish you good luck and good chemistry.